example, for Photoshop Element 6, but it could be for 7, 8, 9, um, PC or Mac. It's for the use of patterns. Now, the patterns I'm going to use are graphicextras.com patterns. I'm just going to go now. File. To load them, you just use the File command. Open. And there's a selection of patterns, but of course you can use any patterns you can find on the web. They're PAT files. Right. Color. Patterns. PAT. Just going to select those. Open. Now they're loaded. And I'm just going to go with the most obvious one is the layer. New fill layer pattern. Okay. And there's the patterns there. So you can actually scale the patterns if you wish. You can just do that. You obviously select on the other patterns. There's a whole selection of designs. So I'll just select that one. Of course, you can also reduce them. They're seamless designs. Click OK at that point. Now, of course, you can actually create another one if you wish. You, you can just create multiple layers. So another new fill layer, you can do another pattern. So you've got, say, two layers, and then you can use, say, blending modes to... So I've just created that. Then you can just go, say, saturation. As you can see. Vivid light. You can actually see different designs just by using things like that. Right, I'm just going to quickly get rid of that one. Don't want that at the moment. And next thing you can do is layer flatten image. So just, yeah, just layer that. And another pattern feature is the pattern stamp. And just go there. Once you select the pattern stamp, it's just there. It's just under the clone stamp, pattern stamp. And the patterns I've already installed are available there. So it's just a drop down here. You can just click there and then just increase the size of the brush just to show you. So you just apply, say, little areas of the pattern. And again, you can apply using different difference modes. You can just create unusual color effects, obviously select a different pattern. So I'm just going to do that. And you can also use the fill layer pattern again you can select pattern there the one difference with this is you can't actually scale the pattern so you just get as is so click OK so it just fills up the entire document of course you can use a selection to strain the area of the pattern right so a quick example of patterns in Photoshop elements